Um, the day after the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight, we have uh, UFC. We have a big legacy fight. We have John Jones versus Stipe Miocic. Uh, John Jones, he is considered by many the greatest fighter of all time. Of course, there's still some questionable things about it because of the things he's done outside of the ring, which have kind of hindered his legacy and it's also kind of hindered what he potentially could have been. So there are people that say, no, Jones ain't the GOAT or whatever. And I understand those arguments, but personally, I believe Jones is the greatest fighter he's of all dope. time. And he's facing Stipe, Stipe Miocic, who is considered the greatest heavyweight uh, of all time. Jones is moving up to heavyweight. Well, he already moved up. This is his second fight at heavyweight. He's fought one time against um, Cyril Gain. I can't pronounce his name. And, you know, submitted him in the first round. So now he's taking the second fight at heavyweight against Stipe. Stipe is a dangerous individual. But just like um, just like Yusek and, and, and Fury, Father Time is going to hit John Jones and Stipe because both these cats are old. Now, AP, I know... You're getting in the UFC a little bit. Um, just based off what you like looked at, how do you feel about those two just from what you, you know, looked at or whatever? First, I want to say, you know, I know the first time John George got spent because he did coke. Um, it was in the system. <laughs> like, look, at the end of the day, like, if he was doing coke, and I mean, I don't know. Coke could be enhancing it. I'll, if he did before the fight, I understand, because people would go crazy off coke. But if it just drug, that was kind of drugs. I don't count those PD, PDDs. But anyway, John Jones, he he just he is a goat. You got to give him the goat. He'd be beating everybody easily. When he's when he's off or on, he, he's been beating, beating them easy. He beat, uh, what, Daniel Comer, Comer or whatever his name is? Yeah, mm -hmm. he beat him. Um, twice. He just twice made him cry on national TV. Um, <laughs> he just, he just that dude right now. Like he, nobody has been dismantling people. I, I don't think I ever seen him do a close fight. Um, and his, he's had a few close fights. NFL, oh, both his brothers in the NFL. Yeah, and he's just yeah. doing his thing, man. He's just beating, you know, taking names and kicking ass. Like that's what that dude's doing. And. Uh, Give him his flowers. Like he he cleaned up himself and then came back and went. He giving you the fights you wanted to. That's what I like about USA. They giving you the fights you want. He, they're giving mm -hmm. to you consistently, consistently. Pause and boxing needs to follow up. And I know boxing gonna, is working with certain promoters. Like uh, I mean, Daniel White is working with certain boxing promoters. But that's what we need. Like that's what the boxing need is that how UFC consistently gives you these matchups that everybody's loving. I know UFC is popular. I haven't got into fully of it, so I'm not the expert. I'm a casual. I'm okay with being a casual until I become an expert. But I look at the fight, and I feel like Daniel Jones is maybe not the – he hasn't been there, but I feel like technical, technical skills, I feel like he's going to um, win um, just because of seeing them, how he dismantled bigger uh, opponents. He doesn't really dismantle the fight. It's not KO. He's not going there to knock you out. He just he does technical skills and the basics. He's kind of like a Floyd Mayweather who did like the basics to when he got older to win more. And that's how I look at John Jones is that he's going to do the technical skills um, to, to to pull out these victories. He's going to wait till the slip up. He's more like a counter submitter. <laughs> he waits for the counter to to, to react. He's not he's not a knockout punch. We have knockout power like the most of the heavyweights back then. I've seen I've seen a couple of them. As most of them, they've been knocking people out. They don't be submitting them. But the ones who have been like. Dominant in the UFC, like say the John Jones and uh, the guy who beat um, Conor McGregor, who retired, um, uh, uh, Khabib, Khabib, like those guys, they do technical and they get you out of there. They're not worried about the I'm going to beat you up and punch you. And I feel like that's what John Jones is going to do unless he gets clipped. Yeah, um, I feel you know now. I, of course. Stipe's at a disadvantage because Stipe, he's in his 40s now, I believe. So with John, he's up there too. But um, I just believe Jones has all the tools. I know people would discredit Jones because he's been out of action. But remember, before he fought uh, Gon, Gain, I can't pronounce his name, the French guy, he was out of action three years prior and then went back in there, got him out of there easily, like just dismantled him. Francis went the distance with him, but 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 Jones just got got him out of there easily. So I feel Jones is just a better fighter. Uh, this is a legacy fight. I feel Jones is going to take Stipe out, and then after that, Jones is going to retire. I mean, I know Tom Aspinall, who's getting on my nerves, by the way. He wants to fight Jones, but uh, the matchup I like to see is Tom Aspinall and um, Alex Pierre. Maybe that'll happen, but I think 
this is the this is the legacy fight. I think after this fight, this will be the last we see of John Jones. I don't think he has anything else to prove. This is just a legacy fight for him. And I look forward to AP talking about the fight after. You know, it's just going to be interesting to watch this fight. I look forward to this fight. Yeah, I mean, I was doing some like little quick research of this fight. I mean, um, it's very um, – it's supposed to be on the – the, on the John Jones, supposed to be on the 17th? This right. the – The 16th? John Jones in it? 16th, yeah. In Madison 16th. Square Garden? Right, yeah, right after uh, Tyson and uh, Jake Paul. Yeah, it's about to go it's about to go crazy. Um, like, that. that's that's back-to-back. Back. Like, you have fun on this weekend because it's going to be uh, – I, I just feel UFC is a whole different – it's different than boxing. You have the approach, and I feel like John Jones is made for this. Um, giving us flowers. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to talk more about it. We, y'all can uh, – you know, I, I'm a casual. Y'all can upgrade me. You know, y'all can say, hey, tell me some stuff in the comments. I need to be looking at it. Let me find some stuff. Um, but, um, you know, we got we got Uncle Money. He's a professional. He going to, what's his name, make some videos and everything out there for us leading up to this fight. But I, I don't know. I, I, I'm putting money on John Joe. I don't know.